Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. I may be a completely blank animation, but that doesn't mean I still can't appreciate a colorful painting every now and again. But when I look at that painting, how can I actually see its colors? To answer that, let's take a look at the electromagnetic spectrum. Because light is both a particle and a wave, it has a wavelength. And in the visible portion of the spectrum, those wavelengths correspond to a particular color of light. Sadly, humans, and animations like myself, can only see a tiny sliver of the entire spectrum, but we'll take what we can get. An important fact about light is that it can reflect off things and get absorbed. For example, let's think about eating a nice crisp apple on a warm day. The white light from the sun that's hitting the apple can be broken down into all the wavelengths of visible light. However, most of the colors except red are absorbed by the apple. The red light is reflected off the apple surface and reaches our eyes, causing us to perceive the apple as being red. The color is essentially just a sensation. The back of our eye, called the retina, contains two different types of light receptors, and these are called cones and rods. The cones are responsible for color, while the rods are responsible for our dark adaptive vision at night. The rods are so insensitive to color that they can't even see red. In fact, this is why astronomers and sailors use red light at night. It doesn't affect their already dark adapted eyes so they can still see clearly. But going back to the cones, we have three types. Red, green, and blue. This may sound strange to you because in elementary school you learned that the primary colors were red, yellow, and blue. Well, I hate to break it to you, but that's a lie. For light, the primary colors are red, green, and blue. We call these additive colors because if we add them together by shining different colored lights on a wall, the closer to white we'll get. And if we mix varying amounts of red, green, and blue light, we can make any possible color, including pink, my favorite, which doesn't actually show up anywhere in the visible spectrum. As usual, I'll be answering a new question every Thursday, so ask anything you want in the comments section below or on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Blocko. this has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.